Hannah here with Delta. Today I want to talk about adjusting your rotational limit stop on Delta multi-choice tub and shower trims. The rotational limit stop sets how far your handle can turn to hot. If you have any issues with your shower or bath water running extremely hot or not hot enough, then this is a quick adjustment you could make to solve that. Today we'll be covering a dual function trim which allows you to adjust the temperature and volume separately. If you're taking notes, those model numbers start with T17. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to adjust the rotational limit stop on a model starting with T17. That is different than T17T, so make sure not to get those confused. Okay, now to access my rotational limit stop, I've just popped off my temperature cap here. If yours looks different than mine, or if you're having trouble accessing your rotational limit stop, feel free to give Delta's customer service a call. They're happy to help. Okay, now it's time to test our water temperature. Industry standard says that 120 degrees is the maximum, but your local code may vary. 90 to 110 degrees is comfortable. All right, so I'm gonna start by turning our water on. And then I'm gonna turn our temperature knob all the way to cold. To do that, I'm just spinning this white knob here. I'm gonna let it run just for a couple seconds. And then I'm gonna turn it all the way to hot. Now I'm gonna let that get as hot as it can get. And I have a thermometer here. And I'm gonna let this water run over the thermometer and check to see what temperature we're at. All right, so that was already at 115 and still climbing, which is too hot. I'm gonna jump back in the tub and adjust my rotational limit stop. Okay, I got my Phillips screwdriver again. I'm gonna unscrew this screw from my temperature knob. Now when this screw comes out, I wanna make sure that I keep my finger down on this temperature knob so that my rotational limit stop doesn't pop off. I wanna know exactly what spot I had it at. Don't wanna lose that screw. Okay, now I'm gonna pull off our temperature knob, keep my finger on our rotational limit stop. Okay. All right, so since I wanna make this colder, I'm gonna move this clockwise so that this C gets closer to our metal stop here. And I'm just gonna move this two, two grooves over. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Very carefully. Move that two over. I'm gonna set it back in. Now I'll just install my temperature knob again. Slide that over the stem. And put my screw back in. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna jump out and test the water. All right, so we're gonna test this again. We're gonna turn the water all the way on. And when I do this, I wanna make sure that my temperature knob hasn't turned cold. I wanna make sure it's all the way hot. Okay, now I'm gonna let this run to get it as hot as it can get. And then I'll take my thermometer, see where we're at. Okay, mine was holding steady right at 106, 107, which is exactly where I want it, right between 90 and 110. You do wanna make sure that you do get a steady temperature so you don't get a false reading. Make sure not to pull it out too early when the temperature is still climbing. If you need to adjust yours a little bit more, just do the same steps, adjust little by little until you get the right temperature. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is install our temperature cap. So this goes on one way. Okay, so mine just snaps on. Yours may attach a little bit differently, just like that. Okay, that's it. That's how you set the rotational limit stop on models starting with T17 dual function valves. All right, I hope that solved your water temperature issues and that it's set at the perfect temperature for you. If you have any questions or need any help, feel free to reach out to Delta's customer service. They have a knowledgeable support staff, happy to help.